For generations, we've lived with a beautiful illusion that the Earth's resources are infinite, a bank account that can never run dry. We've withdrawn its forests, its oceans, its clean air, funding a lifestyle of unprecedented growth. But what happens when you keep withdrawing from an account without ever checking the balance? Every year, humanity uses up a year's worth of natural resources faster than the last. This day is called Earth Overshoot Day. In 1971, it was in late December. In 2025, it was in late July. We are living on ecological credit, borrowing from the future. This isn't just an environmental issue, it's an economic one. We are speeding towards environmental bankruptcy. Environmental bankruptcy isn't a future event, it's today's reality. The invoices are arriving as floods, fires and famines. Extreme weather events, supercharged by climate change, now cost the global economy hundreds of billions of dollars annually. Air pollution, a direct result of our consumption, contributes to an estimated 7 million premature deaths each year. This isn't just about losing individual resources, it's about triggering a systemic collapse. Scientists call these the planetary boundaries' critical thresholds that keep our world stable. We have already crossed several, from biodiversity loss to chemical pollution. When we cut down forests, we don't just lose trees. We weaken the lungs of our planet and destabilize the climate. When we empty the oceans, we damage the very systems that produce half the oxygen we breathe. Our civilization is a house of cards, and we are pulling out its foundation. But bankruptcy is not inevitable. Our planet has a remarkable ability to regenerate if we give it a chance. The solution isn't to stop living, but to start living differently. We must accelerate the transition to renewable energy. Solar and wind are no longer just alternatives. They are the economic and ecological necessity. We must embrace a circular economy, shifting from a take-make-waste model to one where products are designed to be reused, repaired, and recycled, eliminating the very concept of waste. We need to rethink our food systems, moving towards regenerative agriculture that heals our soil instead of depleting it. We must protect and rewild our natural ecosystems, recognizing that a healthy forest or a thriving ocean is the most advanced technology we have for ensuring a stable climate. The choice is ours. Hey there, let's talk about how we can help our planet with renewable energy. First up, we have solar power harnessing the sun's rays to create clean energy. Next, wind energy, those giant turbines turning the wind into electricity. Don't forget about hydropower using flowing water to generate energy. Geothermal energy taps into the heat from the Earth's core, super cool, right? And let's not overlook biomass turning organic materials into energy. Together, these sources help our Earth renew itself and thrive.